Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I would be discussing my internship experience at Tower Research Capital. The video is divided into the following sections. My experience as an intern at TRC, the requirements including the preparation and application procedure, and a quick overview of my interview process. I've also added the timestamps for each section in the description. Feel free to jump to relevant section. Talking about my experience, I would like to start by saying that PRC is undoubtedly one of the best companies to work in as a software engineer. After my two months internship, I can confidently say that all the time I spent preparing for the interviews was totally worth it. And the best part about the company is the people working there. They have hired and retained some of the most brilliant people in the industry who have a very clear knowledge of the infrastructure they are working on and very strong technical foundation and you get to learn something new from them every day and when you're just when you're working as an intern or you're just starting in your career as a software engineer learning something new every day is really really important now moving on to my projects i worked on three projects distributed over a course of two months my first project was based on pure backend development in django second project encapsulated python behave and docker and third project was an NLP based project for which I used PyTorch. Now that being said, the tech stack highly depends on the team you would be selected for. And since a lot of low latency code has been written in C++ as well, so you might end up doing CPP development as well. So like I'll add C++ for reference here. And coming to the compensation and benefits, like TRC needs no mention in this field. It is well known that TRC has one of the highest packages in the tech industry, both full time and internship. And even in the IITs, it is among the highest, uh, it pays one of the highest domestic packages. And when it comes to benefit, it provides a wide range of benefits and possibly every benefit you can think of including all three meals, fully stocked kitchens and cab services, days, every Saturday outdoor activities, and then gym and medical reimbursements. And the list goes on. So, yeah. Now this slide would might be a bit depressing for someone. So TRC has a strict GPA requirement varying from 8.0 plus to 9.0 plus depending on the college and team they are hiring for. Now, very rarely uh, for some teams, I have even seen a requirement of 9.5 and above, but that's just one or two cases I've seen. And even I don't have that much GPA, so yeah. And college preferences for fresh grads and interns, Tower visits very specific colleges, mostly IITs, triple IITs and PITs. But very recently they have started including other colleges as well in their drives. Like recently they visited DTU. And but even if your college is not part of their campus drive, they regularly update their careers portal. And I will put the link in description. And feel free to apply for any position you think is relevant. And from my experience, I can say that they go through all the applications. But it is always advisable to reach out to someone and ask for reference since TRC has a proper referral system in place like any other company. And talking about the resume and projects, I think uh, well, while applying, uh, you should make sure you have some good meaningful projects or prior internship experience where you can justify that you learned something and successfully applied your knowledge of course CS concepts. So this, uh, this, I, I cannot stress enough that this would be really helpful and will boost your application. And Tower Research really values your knowledge of core concepts like OS, DBMS, networks, computer architecture. And these would definitely help you gain brownie points. They also test these concepts in your interview. So working on these projects will definitely prepare you for the questions they're going to ask in the interview. And even if you have projects in other fields like machine learning, deep learning, data science, Android or web development, as long as they are meaningful, you're good to go. 
and so while, while preparing just make sure uh, that you prepare the uh, data structures and algorithms but you also prepare these core subjects like give these subjects as well uh, give sufficient time to these subjects as well don't leave them and i can say that tower does not look for competitive programming skill to the extent some companies do if you have a good knowledge of fundamentals of data structure and algorithms uh, you, you should be good to go for the interviews talking about my interview experience with tower research my first round was an online test the test had some mcq based questions from core cs concepts there were ad hoc programming questions and a shell scripting question now this shell scripting question was something new for me because i hadn't seen this type of question in any test before in this question we were required to write a shell script to open a file manipulate the contents of the file and then save back those contents to the file now after getting shortlisted in the online test i had two interview rounds both of which were conducted remotely over google meets now in these rounds there were definitely programming questions and those were ad hoc and tree traversal based question but i can say that if you have a fair amount of practice on platforms like read code interview bit and geeks for geeks then those questions should be doable for you and should not be a roadblock in any way now there were object oriented programming based questions instead of directly asking concepts they i was given a problem statement and i was asked to design classes to handle the problem and the classes should follow all the possible concepts of object oriented programming so i can say it was a low key design problem where classes represented the entities and these entities had attributes and functionalities in the form of data members and methods i was also asked to write a sql query it was a fairly simple query with one level of nesting i was also asked questions from operating systems and computer networks now i told the interviewer that i'm not really comfortable with computer networks so he skipped over those questions in operating systems i was asked about system calls and process synchronization which something you would be aware of if you have done operating systems as part of your college curriculum they also tested my knowledge of linux in linux they asked me about file structure and some famous commands like grep find cd ls etc now i was also asked a probability question and some puzzles so for puzzles you can go and practice on geeks for geeks and my probability question was something i had not seen before anywhere so the question was i had to design an experiment for selecting between three deserts using a single coin and each desert should be equally likely to get selected in this experiment and the follow up question on this was that calculate the estimated number of coin toss to reach a final conclusion using the above specified strategy so with this uh, this sums up my interview process and i guess that's all from my side in case i miss something in this video i request you to write down in the comment section and i will try my best to resolve all your queries so with this i would like to end this video hope to see you in the next video thank you stay safe and keep learning